Bless the love and bless the day, oh, boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fight nation. It's Coach Fighting, this is Real Life Boxing. In this video, we're gonna talk about my man Montana 2, Pretty Love, and his unanimous decision victory over Gabriel Galas the other night on the undercard of Carnelo Bivol. Hey, before we get into it, y'all give me y'all best imitation, double jab, straight down the pipe. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you can be notified when all content is being uploaded on the channel of Real Life Boxing. Let's get into it. This fight was um was the fight right before Canelo Alvarez versus, versus Dimitri Bivol the other night. Uh, decent fight. Montana Love, he started off. Um, obviously, it went the distance. He won the unanimous decision, won the, the North American Intercontinental IBF. Nice red belt, you know what I mean? Um, he started off in the first round. On a slow pace, collecting his data, you know what I mean? Trying to get his range against Golaz. Golaz was a orthodox fighter and really rangy. He's a counter punter. Um, counter puncher. Montana Love is a counter puncher as well. Montana Love dropped Zolaz in the first round with a nice check. Um, would be the right hook. Check right hook as Gabriel Zolaz came in with the right hand. Um, Montana Love pivoted and checked it with the hook and dropped him. And then in the second round, now... It, 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 it was really weird because in the first round when Montana Love went back to his corner, his, his corner man was telling him like, yo, chill out, don't press the pace. We don't press the pace yet, chill out, we gonna walk him down later on, we gonna walk him down later on, which is real funny because Montana Love is not really a walk down kind of fighter. But um, Zolaz comes back and drops Montana in the second round with the very same exchange. Montana Love shoots the left hand, he pivots around, throws his check left hook, and drops Montana. His was a little bit harder, though. Drop Montana. Montana gets up, um, recovered, gathered himself, and gets back to work. Now, Montana Love took him a little bit to find his range with the with the straight left hand. He would throw it once and missed. And in my head, I'm like, yo, he needs to double it up. I said he needs to shoot that left hand two times in a row. He started to do that. And I remember the, uh, the, the commentator, which one was it? The boxer, uh... The, the the snake the rattlesnake whatever his name is uh i forget his name right now but anyway he was saying oh he doubled up the left hand he whenever he doubled up that left hand he threw that straight left hand two times in a row he was clocking Golaz with a glass had no answer but he kind of slowed down the pace um i don't know if his corner wanted him to like get the rounds in or whatever but they literally told him to like you know, take it easy. Don't go so don't 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 go so hard. We're gonna walk him down later on in the fight. Um, like I said, real slow paced fight between the both from their counter punches. Montana Love was doing was doing slightly the better. I mean, I felt like he couldn't miss him whenever he doubled up that left hand. I felt like he could have stopped Zalaz, but I don't know what his what his what his corner what his corner was doing. His corner was telling him to like don't be don't be aggressive. You know what I mean? Like saying that he was gonna walk him down later on and that never happened montana love did turn up the pace like in the 11th 12th round it seemed like he wanted the stoppage but i don't know his his team was like don't don't go for the stoppage pretty much just relax and we're gonna walk him down later on that's what dude was telling him i'm like what is this dude what is this dude telling him about don't push the pace right now we're gonna walk him down later on never really walked him down gave this dude like too much respect you know what i'm saying how this dude i mean he wasn't really hitting montana love with nothing meaningful but still like he shouldn't have been hitting him at all montana love should have got this dude out of there i felt like i feel like he could have gotten him out of there i feel like he did hurt him a few times with the left hand didn't hop on him like i said every time he doubled up the the, the straight left he was hitting him and standing him straight up with it and dude just had no had no answer for it. He was rangy and a counter puncher, so you know them trying to counter each other and and, and whatnot. But uh, decent, decent, decent performance by Montana Love. Um, wasn't really an exciting fight, but you know, de de decent performance. He got the victory. He won his belt um, unanimously. So shout out to Montana Love for his performance the other night on Dimitri Vivol versus Canelo Alvarez. Uh, yeah, just kind of a weird night of uh, a weird night of boxing. If you see my if you see my my uh, post fight reaction of Carnelo and Bivol, I feel like Carnelo fought kind of weird, just like trying to walk towards Bivol without jabbing, just throwing one single power punch at a time. And I felt like Montana Love, like I, I, I didn't feel like he was necessarily fighting weird. I just felt like the instructions from his corner was weird, and then that related 
into him um, fighting the way that he did. But uh, if you guys seen the fight, you guys tell me what y'all think about it. Um, in the comment section, Montana Love got the victory by unanimous decision. Um, like I said, tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. Where does Montana Love go from here? What's next for him? Uh, maybe a world title fight in his next few fights. Um, we'll see what happens. He's at 140, so stack the vision up there. So we'll see what happens. You guys tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. Until then, keep fighting your fight and protect yourself at all times, man. Peace and one love.